What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and today I don't really feel like it's necessary. I feel like if you're this far in the game you should kind of know what to do. But I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little guide on leveling from 100 to 110. Now this is pre the release of uh, Magic Square and Secret Peak 7. Since they are not out yet you really have no choice but to end up in Secret Peak and Magic, well, Secret Peak Six and Magic Square Six, uh, for a large part of, um, I mean, most of that you're going to be in Six Three, and unfortunately that's getting more crowded now. So until they release Seven, everyone's pretty much screwed. Um, and you know, hopefully, if you're watching this video after Seven is released, then obviously you just adjust your Secret Peak and Magic Square to whatever you can handle, as high up as you can handle. So, you know, that's usually what I, I start with, Magic Square and Secret Peak. There is no secret to it. 6F, you should be able to do the mobs at the top. Or if, you know, in the early hundreds, the lower is better for you, that's fine. But the aggressive mobs, as usual, on Secret Peak, um, there's two spawns on the bottom level, two spawns on top level. It's the same, guys. It's been the same. If you watch my other guys, you know the deal. Same thing on Magic Square, but except here, you're pretty much all of 100 to 110. 110, you should be in 6-3 and exp3 so um i mean there might be a handful of people that you know might stick to 6-2 in the early hundreds but for the most part everyone should be at 6-3 so that's that magic current secret peak is the time of this at the time of this guy this only thing you, your options are now once seven opens then obviously just go up to where you can handle and where you optimize your experience besides that i will say i really 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 love the uh the fantasia lab now one thing i want to point out before we go to fantasia lab though is that depending on how crowded the lab is red moon valley three secret passages can still be very good um i don't know which one it is let's just go ahead and check three dash two real quick i believe it's three dash two it's a similar room to what was in my last guide on on two and you know, some people could already probably handle this in 3-2. But, you know, I've, I've talked to a few people that this is still ideal versus uh, Fantasia Lab. At least some of the rooms in Fantasia Lab. Which, if that's your case, you know, feel free to continue doing this. So, you have this one bigger room, which is, you know, yeah, it's okay. It, it's definitely okay if this one was full. It's basically got to do with how crowded things are. And here you go. You can see my buddy's in here right now. This seems to be doing him pretty well. And he is, um, what's he currently at? He is at 103. So this is still working well for him uh, compared your or when the Fantasia Lab areas are full. So let's go ahead and go to the Fantasia Lab areas that are really good. And I'm pretty much going to point out on the map here. And it's going to be pretty consistent with uh, floor 2F. Um, now if you're melee, then probably you can get to floor 3F before 110. But you'll have to figure out the rooms yourself as a arbalist on um, 3f and just given you know where i'm at with my character yeah it's a little little risky there so i don't really go 3f so on on 1f and 2f specifically let's let's target 1f right now i really like this unique room right here and the reason why i like this one is because um you know as i leveled up into the hundreds you know one thing that becomes important is constitution and if you weren't farming a new unique before, you're probably going to need to farm a unique um, at this point. And not just Constitution, but also Inner Force. Because you need those materials to be able to upgrade. Like Purify Water and the little egg things and uh, your Virtue Pills, all that good stuff. And farming unique helps you get those a little bit faster. So, you know, for me, it's decent XP right here at this boss. But also, you know, I'm getting those materials. So I did spend a lot of time on this unique right here. And then also the sanctuary room. The sanctuary room on each of these floors is actually pretty darn good. Probably the best for some classes XP wise. So for Arbalist especially, like for me, I spent a lot of time in this room right here. It's a lot of mobs. You know, you can pull a lot of aggro each time. Um, definitely some very good XP numbers in here. I know some people that um, particularly like this room right here, the zombies. Probably the smaller rooms are better for the melee. And then over here, you know, if those are crowded, I like these rectangular rooms, um, which I'll specifically go to this one right here because it's kind of like 
this has been my favorite on 2F uh, right now because of the you know how things are crowded but it's, it's also good here now what ends up happening is sometimes even as the arbalist you end up kind of on half the room it's still decent and I believe you know my buddy Pera when you just saw him in Secret Passage uh, in in the Red Moon Valley that the Red Moon Valley Secret Passage could be a little bit better than some of these rooms XP wise uh, you know I, I still like sticking to Fantasia for the um, I guess just for the loot aspect but it, it's not too much different from the valley because you do get the flower oil and stuff there as well but that's kind of like that's really the basis for where you're going to end up until you know 110 plus and even even going beyond that um you know you you go into fantasia lab 3f and these are really the best grinding areas until you know we get some new maps and stuff and you know depending on what the level of the mobs are on those areas so you know this is where i've been seeing you know we've been getting some sanctuaries put down we've been fluctuating between 1f and 2f and that's just really the best grinding area guys as long as you can handle it if you can't handle the sanctuary room or something you know come over to try this room over here you know you got this rectangular room this rectangular room or if you need to farm materials sit on one of the uniques or if you're doing a request i mean there's some requests here you can sit on a unique so that's pretty much it guys level 100 to 110 is pretty straightforward and honestly if you've been following my guides everyone should, at this point should know what to do i really don't feel like i need to come out with any more guides um, but you know, just for consistency purposes, I'll probably continue to put out some things here and there. If some people need some stuff explained, but that's what I found to be the best areas for XP. And hopefully we'll get the magic square seven and secret peak seven sooner rather than later. So if you guys are enjoying the guys, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. I'll catch you in the next video.